Oh my goodness. Was somebody promised that as a uh, reward for demonstrations of loyalty, then then they would be what considered eligible for ultranational service so that then they would be able to cash in their carbon offset credit and <clears throat> troubleshoot, right? But I mean, troubleshoot goes toward prevention, which goes toward you know, preventative measures that allow for you to demonstrate that you have put a good faith effort into whatever the arrangement is you have with a partner, including potentially international partners that might have different standards. But, you know, after they did that subordinated bonding thing during the 2000s and tried to say things were healthcare that really weren't healthcare, all they ended up doing is covering up for a lot, a lot, a lot of fraud that was going on in the gas and oil sector. So we still haven't gotten to that energy transition, right? Yeah. And so the thing is that carbon offset credit <laughs> has a different form of execution. And then crime statistics have a different value as opposed to some other kind of credit. Yeah. And that's why we're still on gas and oil. And that's why the 15-year lease on your mineral rights claim to me is expired. And I'm clogging up the pipeline, aren't I? You were expecting me to be out of the way. And eliminate it so that this could just pass through. Yeah, but I put my glasses on, right? I put my glasses on, and that little jaunt to Fort Worth, well, it didn't work out so well because of Amarillo, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and lay low today. I need to I need to do some reconsideration anyway. Um, I'm not sorry about what I did. I will admit I have engaged in acts of theft in the last few years, and it's a very big consideration. Wait a second. I have something. It's evidence, and it's evidence of like significant, significant, huge, 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 heinous crime. I mean, some of the most significant heinous crime ever. You're supposed to be like trembling in fear, but I stole it to get it, right? Legally, technically, I did I did it, I stole it. It was somewhere you were supposed to pay in order to get it. I didn't pay, I stole it, right? <laughs> but it's evidence. So who has recommendations? What are we gonna do? You know, there's actually a just cause argument. If you go and you say you're in the prosecution, well, your honor, we can't accept this evidence. Well, it was stolen. She stole the evidence you can submit and use prosecute someone with evidence that was stolen or can you right do you guys have enough credit right now to get me some professional assistance or what could potentially be a consult on what do you do when you have evidence of like some of the world's most heinous heinous crime and you've asked for years for an appropriate evidence submissions process and they've refused at every turn and you've got the books right here which you know could also be you know your sort of actual primary source documents that you use in order to actually provide a surety on a case. <laughs> but, you know, that thing after they stole my passport. And did you guys finish that? Did you guys finish that case in Chicago yet? About that banker guy and the 16? Because I know you wanted his 16 to overwrite everybody else's 16. But we still got that one sixteenth tax to the state. And so every single 16 since 2005 tears to that, right? And I have all the evidence I need, but some of it was stolen. And I have to admit it. I'm admitting this right now. I, see, you didn't give me an attorney. I'm representing myself pro se. And so my pro se has advised me that I should disclose at this moment I have evidence, some of the world's most heinous crime, evidence of some of the world's most heinous crime, and some of it was stolen. So wh what do I do now, Judge? What do I do now? Because I have it, and they keep obstructing justice, and they keep using my cases for even more crime, which means they stole my case. And they use it for crime. And so far, nobody's invalidated all the cases that they use my stolen case and my stolen notes and my stolen evidence for as somehow being criminal. So I think perhaps what you're saying is there's precedent. There's precedent. So they stole my case and they stole my evidence and they use it to finance deals, including deals they set up using cases that were availed of my stolen case and my stolen evidence. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. So, is there, yeah, I'm not going to say that because they don't know Latin, and I don't want them to feel like uh, I might be trying to insult them with a caricature. 